hey guys, so this is our problem number one for topic of couples. So number one, from the force system as shown in figure 11.0, determine the distance D of the force F to produce the couple in the force system. Okay? So determine daw natin yung force F na mag-create ng ating na uh, couples for the okay, for this type of force system. So sabi natin meron tayo ditong uh, force F. So this is force F. And this is another force F. And itong force F daw na to is merong distance T. Okay? So this is the distance D. Na magkakreate ng ating couple. So yung couple natin, which is equals to, say C is equals to F multiplied by D. And alam natin na ang uh, force F natin is equals to 150 plus 20 plus 30. So F is equals to 200 kilo newton. And yung at, ito yung ating force, yung F force na downward. Yung sa upward naman, yung kung check natin, 100 plus 100 is equals to 200 kilo newton. Therefore, kung i-check natin yung ating resultant, uh, there will be uh, a zero resultant since yung ating dalawang force is equal to each other and opposite in direction. That's why it will cause a couple effect for this uh, bar A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So, determine natin yung uh, force or yung ating distance D. So, may dalawa tayong uh, type ng solution dito. So, kukunin mo natin yung distance or yung position ng ating uh, downward force F from point A and yung ating position or location ng ating upward force from point A. Then, i-minus natin yun. Makukuha natin yung distance D. Or, magmumoment tayo sa C or, or, or sa any points dito sa ating bar. And, yun yung ating couple. Then, i-equate lang natin dito sa C is equals to F multiplied by D. Then, makukuha natin yung D. So, first solution muna tayo. So, first solution natin, kunin muna natin yung mga distances ng ating force F. So, sa natin ito ay distance 1. Ito naman yung ating distance 2. Okay? So, itong distance 1 is for the distance, I, that is, it is the distance for the downward forces. So, mag-moment tayo sa A. So, summation of moment, at A, clockwise is positive, is equals to, okay, uh, positive 150 multiplied by 2.5 plus positive 20 multiplied by 5.5 plus 1, so 6.5 plus 30 multiplied, okay, so this is equals to 11. Okay, so yung ating moment at A is yung ating moment A is equals to 835 kilo newton meter. So, masolve natin yung D1 by MA is equals to force multiplied by D1. So, 835 is equals to F which is equals to 200 multiplied by D1. So, D1 is equals to 4.175 meters. Next, the summation of moment at A naman for the upward forces, clockwise is positive, is equals to negative 100 multiplied by 5.5 minus 100 multiplied by okay, 10. So, ang ating moment at A is equals to negative 1,550 kN meter. At yung ating MA is equals to force F multiplied by distance 2. So, negative 1,520 is equals to ang ikot ng F sa A is counterclockwise. Therefore, it is negative F na 200 multiplied by distance 2. So, D is, uh, distance 2 is equals to 7.75 meters. Therefore, para makuha yung distance D, it is equals to D2 minus D1. So, ang distance D natin is equals to 7.75 minus 4.175 meters. 
So, ang distance din natin is equal to 3.575 meters. Two. So, solution number 2, wag mag-moment muna tayo sa A. Then, i-equate natin yun as it's bubble. Okay? So, mag-moment tayo sa A. So, summation of moment at A, clockwise is positive. Okay? It's equal to positive 150 multiplied by 2.5 plus okay 20 multiplied by 6.5 plus 30 multiplied by 11 minus 100 multiplied by 5.5 minus 100 multiplied by 10 so yung ating moment at a is equals to negative 715 kilo newton meter so, since ang ating moment at A is negative, therefore, it is counterclockwise. Okay? So, yung moment... Ah. So, yung moment at A natin is equals to the couple, which is also equals to force multiplied by D. So, negative 715 is equals to F, which is equals to 200 and yung rotation ng ating dalawang force is counterclockwise. Therefore, it is negative 200 multiplied by distance D. At ang ating distance D is equals to 3.575 meters. Okay? So, dito pinagta ko yung dalawang solution. And nasa inyo kung ano yung mas magandang gamitin. Siyempre, mas magandang gamitin dito is yung second solution kasi mas maikli yung uh, solution niya. Pero kung gagamitin nyo naman yung uh, first solution natin, mas mauunawaan ninyo yung pinaka-basic concept kung paano makuha yung distance D and it's simply coming from the basic concept of the moment and the resultant. Okay, so that is our problem number one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.